Let's talk Cody Gakpo, Chris. Yes, please. I've been waiting all show for this one. AC Milan in the San Siro. We've seen bits and pieces of him so far this campaign. And look, some question marks. You know, he had a great Euros playing on that left-hand side. He's looked a bit like, oh, well, look, he's a guy. We've got him and he's going to rest Diaz. Tonight was the first time that I think we've seen the example of what we feel we feel we've got that's two players for every position if Gakpo can play like that Liverpool have got two brilliant options for the left hand side yeah absolutely and it, it's not because Cody Akpo is not good that he hasn't started games so far this season it's because Diaz is very very good and that's the that's the difference isn't it I feel like we can look around at some positions and with the greatest of respect I think that Robertson is a much much better option than, than Costas Timakas. I don't feel that Diaz is a much, much better option mm-hmm. than Gakpo. I think he's a better option. Yeah. You know, at the moment, he's in fantastic form. And Cody Gakpo comes in and he's like, this is my chance. This is a new manager, fresh start under that new guy. Who was going to get that new lease of life? Rise from the the, the Phoenix, like the Phoenix from the Flames type of thing. And, and this is what Cody's done tonight. He's got on the ball. He's been direct. He's dribbled. He's made good decisions. He's had shots on goal. He's got an assist there. He's just dragged the team forwards and he's just pushed their fullback back. And that's exactly what you want. That's the Cody Gakpo that we saw at the Netherlands in the Euros. Yeah. And that's the one where we, what we thought we were buying when we originally got him and we fucked around with him all the last season and basically ruined his campaign by trying to convert him into something that I don't think he wants to be Mm -hmm. I think he's got the skill set to do it and I think there is occasion when we will see that that is a guy who looked like tonight he was enjoying his football yeah absolutely we saw the thing that we identify as a Cody Gakpo thing and that's dropping a little bit deeper turning on the ball and driving forward and you've got guys hanging off him while he's doing it and he's just pushing forward he, he, he gets faster the more space he's got he's got to run into I think the game suited him as it went on a little bit more space developed for him but actually even times where he was on the close scrutiny a couple of times he just dropped the shoulder went between a couple of guys and created stuff and one thing he does and you know you you, you mentioned earlier on in the, the player ratings probably about coutinho kind of players or whatever, there can be a temptation to cut inside and shoot too much. But actually what he was doing was mixing it up. He had a couple of shots. I'm fine with that. You know, what we saw against Forrest was an absence of that. It was an absence in decision-making. And, you know, there's times when he's getting to the byline, there's times when he's driving into the box and then looking to cut it back to the edge. And then another time, getting a shot off, great. That's called a rounded performance from that position. Um, I, I thought he was. I thought he was great. Because it's the player ratings, let's have a look at Sofa score. 8.0 rating, man of the match according to Sofa score for him. Uh, who scored? I've got him as an 8.3. Fot mob? 8.2, but not man of the match. 8.2, yeah, not man of the match. See, I. I, 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 thought, I thought he was the best player on the pitch. 8. I think Sofa Score have done him dirty. He's the highest rated Liverpool player according to Sofa Score at an eight. And I think an eight is like the the entry level position for him. Um obviously it's only an assist and not a goal. Uh I thought he was yeah. No, he was brilliant. brilliant. And this is the thing, isn't it? Yeah, you you you, you were sort of talking about it there about what, what he's gonna do and you, you wanna you wanna wing it to sort of mix it up, right? Because he's cut inside and because he's shot that's how he gets the assist because their defender is expecting him to cut inside and shoot and he could just do the same thing over and over but the defender's on it he lures the defender in lures the defender in I should say Uh, and then he goes and he's around him because that that first touch wasn't very good Mm -hmm. like he needed I would have thought drive across the man take him out of the game get yourself in a shooting position an easy three yard pass to whoever's driving in and you've got a dead easy well, assist there. He the, makes it hard for himself. We're winning the game. He's about to come off. You know, there's about to be substituted. And we were saying, last chance. You know, this is going to be your last touch. What can you do? And I can, it's almost a cliche. You're like, oh, he's, he'll be knackered. He'll, he'll probably just run out of steam because it's just too far, to, to too big a distance to cover. Is he fast enough? And is there enough left in the tank for him to do it? And you're right. The touch is one of them. And he reaches the edge of the box. Oh, well, this is the chance broken down. 
but he's put the, the doubt into the mind of the defender because you don't know he's where he's going to go. And as soon as he's slowing down, you think, well, he's not going towards goal. Yeah. It's obvious, isn't yeah. it? You know what I mean? You'd run full pelt if you're running towards goal. Yeah. But he lures him in. He drives forward. He gets that ball across. It's brilliant. Sabar's like, great finish, all that type of stuff. But that was the type of stuff that he was doing all night. There was one, wasn't there, where he cut in from the right-hand side and he goes, he, I think that was the one you was mentioned earlier. He cuts between two guys. From the left-hand side. From the left-hand side, sorry. And he cuts in to the right. And you're like, all right, you find yourself in a bit of no man's land here. And then he just plays a ball to the centre forward, a little one-two, picks it back up and tries to spin the ball out to the other side. So he's doing those different things. He's asking questions of those players. And, you know, I think the biggest thing tonight is, is he's put a little bit of doubt into the manager's mind because, listen, I think Diaz so far has been up there with probably one of our best players of the season. Um, but against Nottingham Forest I don't think any of them had a good game well, now you've got a genuine option does that push Diaz a little bit further on I mean Diaz with something to fight for fucking hell mm. like you know what I mean that's the thing <laughs> innit? Like, you know what I mean this yeah. is the guy who goes out and fights for everything yeah, yeah, yeah. but now he's fighting for his position as yeah. well he what asks, type of form is that going to be he asks the milkman not to leave the milk on the doorstep <laughs> yeah. to keep it on the cart <laughs> and then goes and runs and hunts him down in the morning just for the, just for the practice um, look yeah great you know we were having a big chat pre-match about rotation and sort of keeping the same 11 and you know and look be honest with him and Simicas it was like well I, I understood the Gakpo one more I was a little a little more skeptical about Simicas obviously Simicas makes the early mistake but I think they both ultimately have really good games but Cody was the one for me who I can see a world now where what Slot was saying is you know these are the guys who've got the shirts if their level drops, the people underneath have got to be ready to take it. And we were saying, well, I don't, you know, is this one of the situations where it's just temporary? No, I do. I genuinely feel like if Gakpo can perform like that, then wow, what I mean, what a wonderful situation to be in. And this is bearing in mind we got our first glimpse of Federico Chiesa tonight. Does nothing, you know. It's far too late in the game for him to impact it. But that'll be a, a, the thing on the other side. Bigger asks to try and catch up to Mo Salah, of course. But what we've seen is the template, I think, that Slot's looking for. Why he's got this squad, why he's not got kids as understudies. He's got guys who are all hopefully capable of coming in and, and pushing. So Gakpo, man of the match, from again, from Sofa Score. Man of the match from... Um, Actually, I don't know. I don't think you scored. Do a man of the match, actually. But I gave him I gave him my man of the match anyway. Yeah, I gave him mine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, He's not man of the match on Fot Mob. What do you think of that at home? What are Fot Mob doing? Do you think? Let us know in the comments on? section who you think they give man of the match to. You might have seen it already if we've given it away on screen. But if you've not seen it and don't want to rewind, who was your man of the match? And do you disagree with the notion of Cody Gakpo being it? Because look, I could make a strong case for Sir like as well in there as well. Gravenberg, McAllister. Um, the centre halves, I could I could make a, a strong, a strong case in that in that regard. But um, there's there's about three players I couldn't make a case for, and one of them has been voted as man of the match much, by yeah. Fort Mob. Pretty much, yeah. Um, shall we move on to that player? Yeah, the player was Mohamed Salah. So Mohamed Salah, man of the match, according to uh, according to <laughs> Fort Mob, with an eight point two rating. Who scored gave him an 8.1 and even identified his two woodwork hits on their graphic as well, which is very nice of them. Let's see. You see those little, two little things and crosses on them? Yeah, I'll, see, I'll zoom in for you there. Uh, yeah, that's not showed. Um, oh, oh, hello. Yeah, there we go. Look yeah, at that. that's exactly where he hit both of them. <laughs> Basically, yeah. You um, should have just put a times two next to the one. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, you know, anyway. Um, and Sofa Score gave him a 7.9. This is one of the ones where you, we were, you were slating Sofa Score before. Um, I think Sofa Score are being a tad generous there as well. But is this the one of those after the fact kind of things where if I was Liverpool's data team, I'd be looking at Salah crafting two opportunities for himself in the box, getting good clean strikes off, beating the goalkeeper hands down on both occasions, but hitting the underside of the crossbar. They would, would they weight that more as a positive towards him, which is why he's getting a, a positive. Do you think the data team and just how these and, and how such things are calculated? I don't, I don't think that the apps do that. Okay. I think the data team would. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so why the fuck has he got a such a high rating when he didn't really he didn't get a goal or he didn't get a goal or an assist right I'm right in saying that no right? yeah. Yeah. I mean the assists were the two fullbacks yeah, yeah, and yeah. Cody yeah, yeah. And he definitely didn't get a goal so he has twice. no tangible output yeah. in the in the in the basic measurable term of it but Salah wins everything. <laughs> That's what he does. Yeah. Ask anyone to do a poll, and Salah wins. I thought he was fine. I thought he was okay, by the way. Yeah, um, he was sad. And it, but not in a, not in that. He being was asked to dribble and do and you know right. take people on. Let's go through it. Gavin Burke was better. Subasulai was better. McAllister was better. Cody Gakpo was better. I could make a case for him being the fifth best player in the game. Okay. Yeah, he was better than. Than Jota, and that's clearly referenced. Jota, Allison, and Salah were the three I wouldn't have put forwards for Man of the Match. Yeah. Yeah. I would not have even been in my thinking. Now, again, you're two inches away from being potentially having two goals on the night. So, mechanically, he's done it all right to a point. But again, if that was Darwin Nunes, we'd be giving him a six and saying he's yeah, fucking. He's, he's Costa Silicon was two inches away from getting a couple of goals. It just happened to be on the connections foot. on his foot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Very good. I like that. Um, okay. Yeah, it's, yeah, so you go. What, Cody or Salah for Man of the Match? 